hi guys you're welcome back to my channel this is b moment and this is my one day vlog in calabar if this is your first time on my youtube channel make sure you like subscribe join the b fam if this is not your first time thank you for stopping by once more make sure you like the video you know what you know the drill so keep watching guys i'm headed to get food now i'm in my boat going to get food somewhere because i'm basically very hungry then from there i'm going to head to marina resort i've not been there before so i'm hoping that it's actually very fun and interesting so do not go anywhere keep up with me while i go get food and then head out I basically just get fried rice and any other thing that they have that I like. So most likely fried rice and chicken or meat, anything. The meat is not bad. The meat is actually not bad. Um, and I ate here yesterday and it was absolutely nice. There was someone that helped me get it so now I'm packing on my own to get something with my friend. So yeah, I'm done getting food. I'm already on my way to um, the Marina Resort, and then from there I'll see how it goes. If there's any other place, I'd love to visit. I'll probably just go there. So. This is quite calm, it's really cool. It's somewhere like if you just want to have time to yourself, you just come here. You want to be far from people, far from the world, everything. But the sad part of the whole situation is that the hotel that was supposed to be in here is no longer being taken care of. So it's been shut down and that's like what's the point of deciding to come here to have your me time since the hotel is shut down but whichever way like i'm going to like flip the camera so you guys will see the sea and everything so you could come here to just watch the sea and um, have a chill time with your friend you don't really want to you know go to a loud place and everything so these are places you can stay you just want to watch the sea and see as the fishermen um like do their thing and everything like this is quite cool it's quite chill but there's a lot of work that needs to be put in for it to be better so according to the tour guy that kind of took us around he said that this stuff is just a sign showing that there's the sea there's the fishermen like they perform activities <laughs> if i'm right but yeah he's just trying to say that things happen in the water basically that's what he said anyway just showing the sign that there's a sea here although i know that once your car actually drives in you definitely see it but you know just so that there's actually a sign and it's a really big one so right here is the cinema but it's sad because it's no longer working so that's just the thing about this place there's just a whole lot but then the new government as i heard isn't putting in work that's why even the hotel is shut down because this is a very nice cinema that people could come to chill time and everything like away from the world but no they're not taking care of it but whichever way that's fine so right here is the slave history museum and Basically, what you're going to find inside is structures of women and kids being bonded, the chains, everything. 
carrying things on their head showing when they are in action walking and being tied up and all of that so that's basically what's in the museum and everything i wasn't able to enter inside but yeah just like you just saw on the wall that's what you're also going to see inside then here you could buy things you know like you're saying the heart to go on your butt ride and all of that and also paintings there are really lovely paintings here that you could get for your house and all that so if you visit here you could get your heart and your paintings so yeah that's it so you guys i've gotten to the waterfront so basically this is just where you stay to watch the sea and everything and wait for your turn to like get on a boat ride so we're actually going to go on a boat ride right now to get to just go to um where is this place again where my yeah well across there mm. With the boat, we're going to go to the Merseyslesser Island. That is where she settled, where she came to Calabar. You know the Merseyslesser story and all of that. So I'm going to go there. I'm so excited. I've never been there before. So if it has a one thing my Ravi Sorts gave me, then that's fine by me. So let's see what we have here. Wow, so we're about to enter to the ride into the boat guy this thing is scary like i've never entered the boat and i'm already scared anyways i still enjoy myself as much as i can definitely Let's see how it goes. So we're headed to the Mess Lesser Island. Pretty much we'll find out how it looks like and everything, you know. I was supposed to know about it. Alright. I don't even know what to say about this place. Ooh. They're just little monkeys here. So you guys, this is a tortoise and a life of a doll. I hope you're seeing you well. Then this is a life python. But, uh, 
It's in the cage. Yeah, it's in the cage. Okay, over here we have also light crocodile again. Guys, there's this is a live crocodile. Literally just dragged it out of the fucking water. Oh no, it's going back in. Ah! Man. So it doesn't try to bite you or something? Oh, okay. So this is like a mini bar. Or oh, this is a mini bar mm -hmm. that people just come to like, yeah. you know, good, so know, relax. Okay, here's a, a skull of an antelope oh. being caused by that papa. Oh, okay. These are a skull of a bush pig. These are teeth. Yeah. You can also see it from here. This is it. Yeah. This is a skull of. Uh, so you can see some art here. Yeah. This is some art. Okay. Yeah, that's a bar. Okay. Um, that's a crocodile pond because there are two. One is hooked, and then the other was the one you guys already have seen. Okay, and this is a fish pond. So you guys, there's a particular house that was uh, a mud house before now that was where Mary Celeste took care of the twins house is no longer you know it's no longer a mud house basically. so basically the story is just you know the whole clean of twins and all that but then the king's grandchildren as a then were twins and then he said he could not be able to see his own grandchildren killed and all so then he begged Mary Celeste to take them away so with the help of some palace guys they took them away and brought them to somewhere around here because at the back of this place somewhere back for that was where the palace was but then they brought them close to you know the sea where she took care of them named them after her own people and that was how everything happened so this is just it's no, nothing more to know but then it has a story and all of that so yeah we're headed back to whence we came from marina island properly so we're just going to go back there you know if there's any other thing to do we do that if not we'll head to you know get close to because weather is pretty much hot i like to take something cold and then See how it goes. So you guys who are travelers going to Queen Town that is near here and also with this boat you can also go to Cameroon and some other close countries and towns and villages around the resort so yeah just imagine like so extremely scary guys how do they even like just not manage this place huh what what this government um uh, it's, it's it's bad really it's really bad this place has potentials of being better but then the country has a way of fucking you over over and over like so fucking crazy like it's so crazy when they do that like um uh, well it's all good it's part of the experience right Get something nice and 
soft. Downstairs is the mina squeeze also. So yeah, Calava is not totally dry. Honestly, we expect to go from here, but oh well. It's here, so it's actually nice. Bye.